a blessed evening to everyone and also to our uh, fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us in this uh, live stream mass from the shrine of Jesus the divine word as I've said today we celebrate the uh, Memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary and uh, the maternal grandparents of Jesus. We do not find their names mentioned in the uh, Gospel accounts. Rather, these are uh, named in the so-called uh, apocryphal uh, Gospel of James. It is a writing in the uh, second century attributed to uh, prophet, uh, to the uh, apostle uh, James, and it was not included in the so called canonical gospels. Although they are not included in the uh, canonical gospels, in the uh, Eastern churches in their liturgy we find them their memory celebrated in that tradition of the Eastern churches and from there I think the Roman church got its inspiration to include later on in the uh, celebrations of the Church of Rome in fact, uh, in the Eastern churches, they have the tradition of uh, greeting or congratulating the parents for the birth of their child. For example, Mary is greeted on the 1st of uh, uh, January, eight days after the birth of Christ. That is one way of looking at the celebration or uh, the uh, Mary uh, or uh, the parents of Mary whose birth is celebrated on the 8th of uh, September are greeted before in this uh, uh, on this day 25th or 26th of uh, July but at the bottom line of this feast, this memorial, is the conviction that God uses instruments, persons, and many times these are poor means, poor persons, simple persons, to realize His work, His plan of salvation. And recognizing this popular wisdom devotion of people that the church plays them as part of their the worship the cult of the church no, these parents of the blessed virgin mary called joachim and Anne. yesterday we celebrated the first ever uh, World Day of Grandparents and Elderly People established by no other than our Pope Francis to be celebrated every year, every fourth Sunday of July. And uh, the placing of this celebration on this fourth Sunday of July is precisely motivated by the, its closeness with the feast of what we are celebrating today, the memorial of uh, Saints Joachim and Anne. And uh, the establishment of the celebration is seen as very significant, not only for the Catholic Church, Catholic faithful, but within the global community. One way of uh, one author in his appreciation of this feast established by Pope uh, Francis said that 
with the celebration of the World Day of Grandparents and Elderly, he said, this he sees as a leaven, no? just like the the gospel today, you know, that with this initiative of celebrating the role of the grandparents, you know, making people a fitting appreciation of the role of grandparents across the globe, even that would hopefully extend also even to non-Christian or non-Catholics. And the, the beautiful message of uh, Pope Francis as he established this uh, feast or this uh, day of the grandparents and elderly people, he underscores the mission of the grandparents. Among the, the beautiful uh, description of uh, Pope Francis, he said that the grandparents are to be guardians of the connection between the younger, the family history and the salvation history that and to pass on this memory, this history to younger generations and he sees this as a very important contribution of the grandparents, the older people to younger generations no the history no, of how God intervened into their life and their own history as a family would mold and form the character of younger generations. And uh, the Pope asked the grandparents and seniors, what is your vocation today? at our age and he said and he proposes this it is to preserve our roots to pass on the faith to the young people and to care for the little ones he laments no, like other observers how young people have no roots anymore and lost in the ups and downs of the modern world without any roots anymore. And that is one of the beautiful and important role and mission of grandparents. Help them, help young generations to have roots No. He called the grandparents and uh, seniors as living memories, keeping the memory alive and sharing it with others is the true mission of the early elderly person. And he adds that memory is the foundation of life, and grandparents have a key role in establishing in their grandchildren their firm familial roots and stories, but also the history of faith. The young people look, he said, normally toward the present and the future and prone to neglect the past. Grandparents are prophets who bring the wisdom and experience of the past to guide the now and the not yet of younger generations. And uh, the Pope says, the future of the world depends on this covenant between grandparents and seniors and the young people. Dear friends, as we uh, remember Saints, Joachim and Anne, we are reminded of this, especially of the important role of the elderly and the grandparents especially.
to younger generations that they become the memory to help them appreciate the roots no. I'm sure in your own experiences of faith like my own experience who introduced me into the world of spiritual life of prayer where the grandparents they did not teach me much of who is God etc but in the practice of praying no. even with that is an important contribution that you have dear grandparents to your children and uh, thanks be to God that at least in our culture in our family structure still grandparents play an important role in our society in our families no? that we do not send them easily to homes for the aged but we try to take care of them as much as we can in our families and uh, this is a beautiful that we should uh, tradition and part of our culture and also to give importance to them as underscored by our Pope now the importance and the contribution the mission of the elderly and the grandparents in our society I think this uh, celebration of the day of grandparents and seniors is a beautiful way of emphasizing the dignity of the human person especially in the context of the throwaway uh, culture when things or persons are not useful anymore when at times the elderly becomes burdened for the family of the younger generation that many times they are sidelined and many times the elderly are tempted to resort to euthanasia as in uh, at, as it is happening in other parts of the world I think this feast this day uh, instituted by our Pope complements very well this the dignity of the unborn of the young people that we celebrate no? also the celebration of the World Youth Day if we have all these celebrations I think it is a very important action of the Pope to institute this world day of uh, our uh, grandparents and elderly so the celebration of the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne reminds us of the dignity and value of every human person even the so-called weak and frail old people they are still they still have the, a mission to fulfill and we are all called to promote the dignity the human dignity just as we learn and benefit from the wealth of their wisdom and experiences may we continue to care value our elderly in our families and our communities and I think a concrete suggestion would be to listen to their stories sometimes we do not uh, we just take them for granted well that they are there or minsan pa ulit ulit na but maybe we we should devote our time especially on Sundays to listen to their stories ask them about 
their experiences in, uh, of life, their learnings. How about also their, how they, their love life and how they were able to live and go through the difficulties, for example, of relationships. Dear friends, the Lord invites us to value each one, especially those who are in need of our care, the weak, the old. And may we learn and be enriched by their experiences and wisdom. Amen.